155 victories at the helm of Clemson now in his ninth season. Opening tip, Eli Thomas to jump against Maudow Sala, and the Tigers will have it first. Safe, yeah, yeah, that's a safe analysis there. His ability to pass. Now another opportunity for Trap. No, Thomas inside to beat the shot clock. Austin, I think Coach Brownell went with a defensive lineup to start with Trap. That guy will shoot it from anywhere on the court. Caleb Tanner, he makes a lot of them, 49% beyond the arc. Look how far Turner is off the three-point line here. No problem. Just lock. Tigers looking to push the pace. Talk about Scarra's prowess beyond the arc, and that time Polite stepping up and coming up with his eighth block of the season. And shooting team, and that'll be a key thing to watch here in various stretches in the ball game today. Polite. Count it, and he's fouled, and boy, that's the thing that'll just make Brad Brownell roll his eyes. Elijah Thomas, he's going to commit his fouls, but you don't want to see him do it. Foul inside, and he's going to pick up a few. That's fine, but he has one foot in the lane, and he's picking up that foul. That's not what can make them uncomfortable offensively. The attention you'd mentioned that Thomas is going to draw, you figure it'll help out someone like Scara, and so does the backboard. And using the glass to convert a three. Jones running the show. They use both him and Fields as a point guard, but he can also stop and pop just like that. Trap. And now Newman from the free throw line. Floor for the first time. You see him crossing midcourt. And a near steal that time, and indeed taken away by Fields. Giving to Hicks, feeding Holland. And from behind, Hunter Tyson with the rejection. Radford to get the ball back. Quick pass underneath. Butts defended by Tyson. Ooh, a little fadeaway. He used to do in the ABA when he pulls up the old film of that. A nice shot by the sophomore Butts out of D.C. Back to a one-point game. Is that one going to count? It will. Virginia, not far at all from where Virginia Tech's located in the southwestern part of the Commonwealth. Butts, another fadeaway, and that one over Thomas. Wow. And Jones will bring it across midcourt. Jones halfway down the lane, probably couldn't believe. Other end, Mitchell nearly losing it as Hicks was scrapping. Mitchell from way outside, and Shelton Mitchell. Efficient, but they don't take that many. Clemson is the one right now that's taking a lot of shots from beyond the arc. Radford, not as much. From the corner, it's Hicks, and that's what he does. We told you, 54%. Overs to none for Clemson. Feed to Holland. Underneath, no, but the follow by Polite. That's why he is a first-team All-Big South player. 11 or more rebounds, and he's just six foot five. That's tremendous. First lead change we've had. Mitchell, and he drains it from right of the lane. Shelton Mitchell. Trap defending. Jones has a size advantage. Jones off the glass here, but a big one there. Tigers look to get within one or tie it up. Trap again, and that one goes down. Clyde Trap had not looked good from beyond the arc. Light on Sims. Tanner driving up and under, and a real nice move by Caleb Tanner, the senior out of Floyd, Virginia. Offensive rebound, and so that's huge from Trap to give Clemson another possession. Coming up on three and a half to go in our opening half. Mitchell, step back. And Shelton Mitchell, that'll go for two. His first head coaching job in D1 there. And that time it's taken away by White as Polite lost the dribble. Scara, finger roll, and one. Tigers are led by as many as six. Highlander's largest lead was three, and now they move back in front. Mitchell. Left elbow this time, Shelton Mitchell, 14 a game. He's done a lot of his damage from the mid-range. I think he feels that he can get his shot almost every time down the floor from that area. And Polite knocks that one down for a trick. They get their feet around and they square up almost every time. It's all about the footwork and that's why they're so efficient. Mitchell's going to try one from downtown and Shelton Mitchell. Leading scorer and their best offensive threat, Marquise Reed, still coming back from that knee screen. Thomas dribbling around defenders and a nice job to lay it up and in for his college days. Of course, he began at Texas A&M. From way outside, polite, count it. On the season, you have to contest every single three. 
especially with a team like Radford that shoots over 40% from beyond the arc. Boy, what a nice drive that was by Carly Jones. It's almost a five-point possession for Radford when they got the ball twice. Yeah, essentially it turns out just like that. Nice feed inside Holland. Bumps against Sims, but he gets the roll. That memory struck him. Maybe it didn't. I really don't know, but I found it to be an interesting tidbit. Holland, who it looked like he traveled. He's going to go off the glass and put it up and in. There's a lid on the basket for Clemson right now, and Radford's playing with a lot of confidence. A 10-0 Radford run. Scar, instead of trying the three, gets the short two. Nice drive across the lane today, depending on how things play out. If this moment in the game with about 14-10 to go is mentioned. Tigers have a chance to tie or retake the lead, and Sims will try to do it, and he does! And Amir Sims team have a five-point play and another a six-point sequence in the same ball game. Eight lead changes, two in the second half. Jones responding, and that's what he does. And knocked away and stolen by Travis Fields. Came in with a dozen on the season. I think Hicks was expecting that one. He's a good three-point shooter. Moving to his left. He knocks it down, so a 5-0 run for Radford. Soldier that he is, he is working hard on this his birthday. Tigers need to get going. They've been working hard all day, but not a lot to show for. But look at Scara. Polite back on the floor, has the ball now for Radford. Remember, he's got those three personal fouls, but so does Elijah Thomas. He's returned to the lineup for Clemson. What a nice job by Travis Fields. Fields or Jones, those two guards that have stepped up their games this season. In the corner it goes, trapped. And it rattles home good. His second meet made three of the ball game. Averages about 11 a game. Shakes the defender trap. Can't get it to rattle home. Battle for the rebound. Fields again thought about passing and said firing. And he puts Radford back in front by three. And pulls it down. Here come the Tigers looking to tie or go back in front. Sims. And he banks it in with a hand in his face. See that play there. Sometimes he settles for the three a bit too much. He's got to use his size inside, and that was a great attack by Amir Sims. Jones, the shovel, Salah, the finish. Some big-time game experience. Salah out front defending Mitchell. Scara going to give a three-pointer a try. David Scara feeling it today when the Tigers need him most. 14 in the contest. And Donald Hicks playing in his first game after missing the pass three. Unable to put Radford back in front. Thomas, though, building this Clemson lead out to three. Still seven-plus to go in regulation becomes big. You just feel like Mitchell having a good day. No. Put-back try by Thomas. By Sims, rather. Rejected by Salah. And then Sims goes up over the big man. Seven in the game. And that's one way to get yourself involved if you're Amir Sims. Offensive rebounds. A big-time play inside by Sims. Wow. That is what Caleb Tanner can do. He is the all-time high school scoring leader in the state of Virginia. Under 10 on the shot clock. Mitchell looked to spin, now feeds Scara, knocked around. Scara, wow, beats the shot clock. Tigers have with Reed injured. There's Hicks, another good three-point shooter. Polite, and he banks it home. 100 points in his career. Only averages about 11 points a game, but he comes up with big baskets for them. 58 all, Mitchell. And he gets the roll inside. Shelton Mitchell building on his game. By as many as seven in the contest. Clemson's biggest lead has been six, and that came with a 6-0 start to the ball game. Dangerous pass that time. Trap, though, able to take it. Eli Thomas and the Tigers matching their biggest lead of the game at a half dozen. Bradford, a good three-point shooting team. Polite's going to try one, and he swishes. Ed Polite, 35% beyond the arc. Inbound comes to Mitchell. Bradford. Pressed at various points in the game. Tigers do a good job getting at the front court. Scara, contact inside, and Thomas with a follow. Big possession for the Highlanders. Polite to Jones, not known as a three-point shooter, but he makes the tray. So a big defensive possession, but also a big offensive possession from the Tigers' standpoint. Trap to the basket, and he gets it to go up and in. What a nice move by Clyde Trap out of the timeout. And Clemson's worst free throw shooter is inbounding the ball, which is a smart play. Great find for Sims, and he'll go right to the bucket. Fields kicking to Polite. And overshoot the target there. Rebound taken by the Tigers. Clemson will simply dribble it out. And the Tigers, a hard-fought eight-point victory.